Around the metro, cranes are going up on multi-million dollar developments as more big business comes to St. Louis. And a project that's been on tap for years in University City is one step closer to becoming reality. The $210 million Market at Olive project. It's going to bring in new business and give resources to a part of U-City that has really been lacking investment. You may already have seen the new Costco around I-170 and Olive, and there's plenty more to come. Our John Kipper is live in U-City telling us what's next. John? Yeah, Corey, University City is looking to add options that just don't exist in town today. Among those, a Deerberg's, which is set to go in this vacant lot behind me, and construction on a few fast food joints has already begun. So this is a major development, but the city has even lost to your goals, revitalizing areas miles from where I'm standing right now. Uh, and what's happening with inflation and construction costs, uh, that project is moving at lightning speed. You can see the work being done off Olive Boulevard and near I-170 in University City. Eventually, Deerberg's, Chick-fil-A, Raisin Cane's, and other options will likely be going where the dirt is now. City manager Gregory Rose says it's an area that was static since the 1990s. I was able to see what Olive Boulevard looked like then. Uh, and when I returned five years ago, it hadn't changed a lot. Now it's changing fast and will continue to move once the city council approves the project and the $34 million in tax breaks associated with it. Rose says it'll give residents more food options and help the city coffers with needed tax money. But it's not just any ho-hum development. It's unique, uh, not just to Missouri, but, but really throughout the nation. What's specifically different about this project is the city is taking some of the profits. Rose says it'll be around $10 million and will reinvest that money into the third ward, a predominantly African-American area where 20% of residents live in poverty. We want to have this as a place that they look at to live. That's Patricia McQueen, who's on the task force determining how and where the money will be spent. She says they're still working out goals and their direction. What do we actually want to see? McQueen is looking at reducing vacant housing and sprucing up neighborhoods in the third ward, ultimately aiming to make the city stronger as a whole because we feel like the third ward is like the canary in the mines. The way third ward goes, the whole university city goes. Now, once given council approval, Rose says the Deerbergs is expected to open up in about two years. He also says a normal Deerberg store brings in about $30 million annually. That's plenty of extra tax money for the city to use. Reporting live in University City, John Kipper, News 4. John, thank you.